Hey guys, Coyote Peterson here. I think we all know what day it is, which means that it's time for the question of the week. Got some really great questions this past week, and you guys really seem to love that cheetah picture. Maybe we'll get some t-shirts made. Stay tuned for that. Now, I did get a couple of questions that were very similar this past week, but this one from Garth Bowie really stood out. Now, he asks, while diving for mud dragons, do you ever have to deal with leeches? That's a great question. And moving around in the grass, what have you found to be the best method to avoid chiggers and ticks? Two-part question. Very clever there, Garth. Now I'm gonna start with the second half of this question. Chiggers and ticks. I don't like either one of them. Now the species of tick that I usually run into is the wood tick. Now there's also the deer tick. This is the one that you really wanna watch out for because those are the ones that can carry Lyme disease. If it's a basic wood tick, all you gotta do, pick it off you, throw it back into the weeds, you'll be just fine. Basic bug spray can usually deter ticks, but chiggers are a whole nother matter. Chiggers are microscopic. You can't see these things. So once they get on your skin, they burrow in and you get this nasty, weird, itchy, red, lumpy rash all over your body. It's no fun, I've had it, and the best way to avoid them is to just not lay around in the grass out in the wild. Now let's talk about the leeches. Yes, when I'm running around in swamps trying to catch snapping turtles, I oftentimes come across leeches, but most of the time the leeches are actually on the turtles. In all of my adventures, I've probably only had three leeches in my entire life end up on my body naturally. Now sometimes I'll pick a leech off of a turtle and put it onto myself just to see if it will suck the blood out. But it usually takes these creepy crawlies quite a bit of time before they can actually adhere to your skin, apply the anticoagulant that's in their saliva, and then start to actually suck out blood from your body. So you don't really need to be afraid of leeches, guys. You're gonna have to spend a lot of time in the swamp if you're gonna end up with leeches on you like a mud dragon. Keep writing in, guys. The questions are getting better and better. You never know. Next week I might be out here in the field answering your question. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you guys next Friday. <laughs> you forgot the turtle name. Oh, darn it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you guys really liked that feature up this past week, What's a Mud Dragon? And I asked you guys to name the first turtle of the season. I think it goes without question, the first turtle of Dragon Tales is officially named The Rock. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do the rock face. I do, do the eyebrow thing. You did the eyebrow thing, right? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Hopefully not turtle soup. All right, guys, that turtle is officially named the rock. But there were some great names. Thanks for all the write-ins. That's it. An absolute dinosaur, hold on, sink it in the mud. Ugh. That is the common snapping turtle, and he is about the size of a dinosaur. <laughs>